FTX CEO Sam Bankman-Fried was arrested for fraud, among other things, in the Bahamas last week and is in the process of possible extradition to the U.S. So what's the latest on crypto's biggest setback? And what do new developments tell me about the future of digital assets? Hi, I'm Liz LaProd, Senior Research Analyst with today's Advisor Takeaway. It's been a while since my last FTX video, and I figure it's time for an update as this story continues to get crazier. FTX was an international company based in the Bahamas, and that's where Sam Beckman freed SBF has been living. And about a week ago, he was officially charged by the U.S. on many counts, including fraud and money laundering. The charge brought against him have shed some light on what was really happening behind closed doors. While the CEO, SBF, has claimed that he only became aware of a misuse of customers' assets right before it became public knowledge, it's apparent he knowingly was committing fraud for a very long time. SBF blamed the drop in crypto prices as the trigger for using customers' funds to prop up sister trading firm Almeida Research. And he was kind of playing in this distant CEO role where he didn't really know what was going on behind, you know, underneath his own nose. Well, now we are hearing that customer money was allegedly being used for things like political donations, buying luxury items for himself, colleagues, and family, as well as for the purchase of other crypto firms. People are now calling this one of the biggest financial frauds in the history of corporate America. So what are my thoughts on the future of crypto now that we're you know over about a month into this saga? Well, we know the collapse has had far-reaching contagion and has definitely lost the trust of a lot of investors, even institutional ones. The question I now have is this. If FTX had been solely a domestic company, would he have gotten away with this for as long as he did? While crypto exchanges are not you know, tightly regulated in the U.S., they might be more so than in the Bahamas, and you'd have to think that the SEC would be at least slightly more involved and perhaps might have sniffed something out earlier. If that was the case, then maybe all is not lost for digital coins, as that then begins to look more like a terrible misuse of assets at the hands of fraudsters than an issue with the digital assets themselves. Of course, I suppose the counter is that the purpose of digital coins is that they aren't regulated, so they are still at the crux of this issue. In conclusion, I think that this means we are, at least in the U.S., going to see a push for more regulation. And I'm beginning to think that that might be what is necessary to salvage the progress that crypto and its technologies have made within our financial ecosystem here and for the future. And that is it for me today. I will be out next week on vacation. I hope you all have a great holiday and I will talk to you in the new year.